Hi, I'm Laura Paul from Active Personal Fitness, coming at you again with Crystal Connor. Crystal is a health and nutritional, nutrition counselor. I've been working on that for minutes and I can't get her right when we start that over. Hi everyone, it's Paul Javish from Active Personal Fitness and ActivePersonalFitness.com. Uh, I have a little bit more of an interview with Crystal Connor, who is a health and nutritional counselor uh, in the Doylestown area. And uh, Crystal, you went to school for your nutritional uh, education. And tell me a little bit about the school that you went to. Um, sure, the school is based out of New York City. Um, and it's a program that you um, you actually, you travel to New York every day, it's, it's a long journey, but the program itself, um, you get to learn nutrition theories, Eastern and Western, so it's a very integrative approach. Um, definitely more of a wide spectrum as far as nutrition goes, you're not just going to learn about one type of style of nutrition, you learn about everything. Mm -hmm. And what is, is it, what's it called, integrated nutrition? Integrated nutrition. Integrated yes. nutrition. So, um, in talking to you before, reading through your website, there were some uh, interesting concepts, and I just want to spend a few minutes going through them. So, one of the things that I have with clients is uh, I start meeting with them, and they immediately have, they already have these preconceived uh, diets or nutrition plans in their head. We know them all. There's Atkins, there's South Beach, there's uh, The Zone, there's cleansing type things that people are, are caught up on. And your uh, website, and you talk a little bit about bio-individuality, um, which I think I know what that means, but can you talk to that a little bit? Um, in brief, yes. Uh, Bio-individuality is basically looking at your body um, for what it is and how fabulous it is. Everything that constructs your body, so your blood, your cells, um, the way you eat and the way I eat are very different. And our body metabolizes things very differently. So, you know, one food, your food, can be poisonous in my body. And we know that by looking um, at our blood type, which is one of them, and also very important, but that's not the only one. Um, looking at your body type, um, you know, then you have your metabolic analysis that we can do, which also looks at you know, how many calories your body burns. It's going to be different than what mine does. Um, so that's kind of a brief description of what that means. Um, we're not fitting you into this little box, which is what every um, fad diet does. You follow the diet um, that's meant for an entire country and putting us all in this little box. So that's pretty How do you go about identifying what will work for somebody or how their individual, their body will respond to you? What they? How they um, when we first look at what's very beneficial as a food journal, so we want to know what you're already eating, and just by looking at that food journal, we can usually figure out, okay, what might not be working and what isn't. Um, and that, that's not only what you're eating, but how much, and what time, and maybe, right. how, maybe how you feel when you're eating, if exactly. you're feeling sad, if you're feeling happy, if you're feeling hungry, or not hungry. Right, yeah, so it, you have kind of a food connection. Okay. So depending on when you eat certain types of foods, um, certain times of the day, um, that's going to result in how you feel. Food is energy, and so in our bodies are energy. And so depending on what type of energy we give our body is going to, the result is going to be how we feel. Um, I, I speak in metaphors quite often, and I like to explain to people, um, think of it as a car. We cannot give your car, fill it with bad gas all the time, and expect it to run properly, you know, or put oil in the gas tank. You know, what's going to happen when you do that to your car? Um, your body is, is an amazing machine, and it needs you know, certain fuel to keep it running and keep it going. Um, so it's kind, of, you know, that, it's kind of a good approach to help people think about it and yeah. see it in that way. No, absolutely. That makes it clear and tangible right. to people.